Okay, here we go. Wow, hi kids. This is Russell the Rooster Show with Auntie Helen. Take. <laughs> How's it everybody? It's your old friend, Russell the Rooster. And today, hey, my favorite thing to do in the whole wide world, and everybody knows what it is, which is what? Eating. Eating! I love eating. I love eating almost as good as, almost as good as sleeping. Um, but today we get to watch Auntie Helen make my favorite dish that she can make, and the name of the dish is called ants on a log. Ants on a log. Everybody say that. Ants, ants on, on a, a log. log. Take it away, Auntie. You're the best in my book. <laughs> oh, thanks, Russell. Woo. <laughs> Okay, kids, today we're going to make a dish that's really simple, and you can help mom make it or make it for yourselves. It's called ants on a log, okay? All right. What you need is you need celery, nice, crisp, good celery. Now, I always trim the ends of my celery off, like so. And sometimes if the celery gets a little stringy, I can run it like that. But that's where moms have to help you, okay? All right, so that takes off your stringy on your celery. Now, these are the logs, okay? This is the log. Now we're going to cut them. Sometimes we leave long logs, but you kids are smaller, so we're going to make them smaller, okay? So the log goes like this. One, two, and three. Now, on this particular thing, what we have to do is we have to make sure the center of the celery is dry. Because if it's wet, the next part of our ingredient, which is peanut butter, will not stick. It'll slide right off. So we dry the center of, what is this called again? Celery. Celery. Now, a lot of people don't know this, but celery and cilantro are first cousins. Yeah, they are. Okay. So we've got all of our celery dried off. Now what we have to take is a little bag, and this is a, this is a homemade uh, bag. I mean, this is a, a bag actually made by Ziploc, but I'm going to show you how you're going to turn it into a little squeeze bag. And at Christmas time, what you do is you take your peanut butter. You can use Skippy, or you can use organic natural peanut butter, or you can even use peanut butter with nuts, okay? Whatever kind of peanut butter you like. And you will take a great big scoop of it, like I did, took a big scoop out, and I put it in this bag, okay? Then I took my scissors, and I just trimmed the end. Don't take a big cut, because all the peanut butter will fly out. Just a little nip on the end of the bag. Now I have this beautiful, now look, look what I'm doing. Okay, see how easy that is? Now sometimes we try to do it with a knife or a spoon or a fork, and it doesn't work so good, okay? So then we're just going to take and put all of our peanut butter inside of here, 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 and here. And we can save this for later, or we can save this for peanut butter cookies, because that's still very good peanut butter. And our ants, what I did is I took craisins, just like that, and I soaked them in some orange juice, because I want them to be kind of soft, because nobody likes hard old ants. And they're not really ants, kids. These are little tiny cranberries. Cranberries, okay? So we put the cranberries right on top of the peanut butter and it sticks on them, okay? And that's called ants on a log. See the log? See the ants? Ants on a log. And I have a whole bunch made so you kids are all going to get samples, okay? And so are you big people? Yes. It does not have to be cranberries. It can be raisins. It can be nuts. It can be any fruit that you like. I call it, I get these because they look like little ants. But um, you can use any kind that you want. You don't have to use peanut butter. If some of you are allergic to peanut butter, then what we do is we go ahead and we put something called cream cheese. Or we can use a different kind of cheese. And we fill it with cheese and we can put the ants on it. Okay? When I do it that way, sometimes I'll run a little string of honey along that because ants like honey. 
Also, it makes the cream cheese taste a little bit better. Okay. So here are your ants on a log. So if we can get, yes, yes, bring those in. Thank you, thank you. So these I made last night. And if you all would like to come on up and get your ants on a log, you may do so. Try it. Tell me what you think. If you want more ants, we can give you more ants. That's peanut butter and celery and... I got a question. Yes. Oh, wow, they look so good. How, um, how do you them. keep the ants stuck on the log? Because every time I go for eat ants, they run away. <laughs> Okay, them I stick the them in the peanut butter. You see me pushing oh, them down a little bit, Russell? Oh, that's the story. That's it. Then I make them cold in the fridge. Cold so in that the they're... fridge. He said, no ants on a log for her. Ants on a log. <laughs> All right. Wow, these are so good. I have a sister like that. <laughs> She's bone thin. They're not for everybody, right? They're not for everybody. Yeah, no. not for everybody. Sorry, Russell. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> no, you, no, 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 you, you can't have me, these, right? Russell. They're, they're, <laughs> no, Russell, no. <laughs> Here's some more ants in the log for the big people, too. Want to have pass those out? Sure, thank you. Russell, for you, I got one. Okay. Here's this. And I'll take one. All right. There it is. Ants on a log. Run, can you kids do this? Everybody.